I know. I was horrible. Why does that hurt so bad? It's crazy that there's still stuff left to pop. I know, my body doesn't stop popping. <laughs> okay, so this is how you fix the, the cracking too much, okay? okay? And you really want to focus on like really tipping your tailbone down this way. Okay, let's just see if there's any more easy ones in there. Yeah, there was two here, and then there was one up here too, right? Two, right? Because mm -hmm. I think there's one more. Is that still tender? Yeah. Oh. Wow, that cracked a lot. Greetings, Emma. How are we today? Good. Good, good, good. All right, so it's been a month since I saw you last. Let's do, let's do an update. How did you feel after I adjusted you last time? Refreshed. Good. We had some neck stuff going on up here yes. that you were experiencing while chilling. Let's start with the upper back stuff. What is this? When um, does it bother you? Driving? Kind of just, I guess, chilling. Okay, so when you're at rest. Yeah. How did that feel after that? It felt like, I felt like very renewed because I was like tight for a Oh, wow, like I felt like I was stuck. Mm -hmm. Does it feel stuck anymore? Um, not like as bad. I think I like re got myself stuck, if that makes sense. Okay, how'd you do it? What happened? I don't know. I, I just like behind my like right shoulder blade kind of, I feel like mm -hmm. stuck. I don't know if it's like a knot or what. But... Is it too much Christmas? Probably. It's probably what did it. <laughs> All right, we had some low back stuff going on here. Mm -hmm. It was that we had some trigger point work to do out here. Okay, this is this is better. It's almost even, but still a little bit out here, right? Yeah. All right, so we'll work on that trigger point there. I'm gonna lower this down so I can see your SI joints. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right, SI joint, right versus left, same, equal, tender. Um, I think right is worse. Good. Here, right, equal, tender. Um, they're both equally. Okay. Painful. All right, we had left restriction last time. Let's turn to the right here like this. Good. Any restriction, discomfort, tension here. Let's compare that to here over this. Good. A little bit easier on one side than the other? Yeah, left easier. Going this way easier. Okay. Okay, right restriction for the thoracic lumbar transition. That's good. It's consistent as last time. Some soft tissue stuff to work on here. We're gonna do an adjustment in the lumbar and the sacrum. Okay, any headaches? Still good there with the headaches? Yeah, I'm fine there. Good. Anything else to report? Ankles, knees, wrists? My ankles are, have been killing me. It feels like good when I crack, but it's like a painful crack, but like I have to. It feels like they get stuck. But it's probably because like I wear heels for work and I did fall down the stairs a few weeks ago. And my ankles got like stuck this way. My like I like slid down kind of like on my knees with my like heels got stuck under my body. Okay, how many <laughs> stairs did you fall down? Like, like three or four, but like I fell hard. Like mm -hmm. I had like a big bruise on my whole like right butt cheek, like of the stair. Ah, uh, it's the bad side. Yeah, I like all my weight went on my right, but my left like ankle got stuck under, yeah. Okay. All right. Anything else? Uh, I think that's it. Any other hospitalizations, doctor's office visits? No. Changes in medications? Any other nope. new supplements? Nope. All right, cool. How's the jaw? Uh, good. Any sicknesses? Mm -mm. Any COVID? Uh, not recently. Like okay. two years ago. Yes. Okay. Try to stand nice and straight, nice and tall. Good, still have a high right shoulder, high left ear, that's consistent to the last time. Put your hands on your hips. Good, okay, you let those drop. Good, we're gonna look at the side of the hip. Very close to even, but just a little bit higher on the left with that, on the, uh, with the trigger point on the right. All right, looking at the glute folds here. It's lower on the left today. It's, 
So the pelvis looks very symmetrical, top to bottom, left to right, not a whole lot of torsion there. Yeah, I think we're gonna work on maybe like this right here, a little bit of sway back. I'm gonna give you some exercises for that right there. And then the, four, the head posture looks pretty good here, so your neck curvature looks good, but we're gonna work on this. Heel strike, flat foot, and toe off. It looks symmetrical and bilateral. I don't see any excessive eversion or inversion. Just a slight bit of inversion, and I think that that's been there for a while. As you can see, the, just the slightest little bit of a bunion formation, but that's bilateral and symmetrical. So I don't see anything different than, or excessive or exacerbated in this case. Do you have any tension when I push here? A little bit. What here? Mm -mm. Here. Yeah.
breathing. Why does that hurt so bad? <laughs> this hurts so bad because like, your pelvis is tilted this way. Uh -huh. And so all of these muscles are being elongated here. So what we need to do is just decrease this angle here by tilting you back this way. Okay. I don't let these, these glutes rest a little bit. Uh -huh. Press is okay? Mm -hmm.
I'm going to adjust according to the trap fibers here, which means that these trap fibers up here are like a map. They show us where on the spine we need to adjust. It's kind of like a shortcut, too. Three, four. Okay, ready? Uh -huh. One, two, three. Which one's more tense? Or same. Three, three. Right here, right? Right there, yeah. yeah. Okay, ready? Seven, six, five. Seven, six, five. They're actually not that bad. Not right bad. There. This is the one right yeah. here. This is the third trap fiber on the left. That tells us we need to adjust T4, 5, and uh, L1. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, nice, gentle breathing. Go ahead, take a deep breath in. And out. Good shoulders sinking in. Good, let it all go. We're also going to adjust T8. Got shoulders sinking in here. Mm. This is where you were the most ticklish, too, when I was running that yeah, machine. From the, yeah, the left. Yeah, right on the L1. Yeah. Okay, let your shoulders relax. There you go. Let's see if we diminish the trap fiber tenderness at all. It helped a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. It's still there, it's a tiny bit though. Right, when you raise your shoulder up like that, you feel it, right? Yeah. yeah. It's because we gotta get this L1 too. Breathe. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, nice and gentle breathing. Good, we're gonna sink in here, letting everything go. See what the right SI joint says here. Is that it? That was one. That was one. Okay, let's just see if there's any more easy ones in there. Yep. That was, there was two here, and then there was one up here too, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. I'm going to push into this because I think there's one more. Is that still tender? Yeah. Very bottom S4. Okay, take a deep breath in. Now. Good. Shoulders sinking in. Good. Ooh. <laughs> you feel it crack like right underneath my yeah. hand too. Okay, lay on your back. Just the right side of your neck like this. Just try to let it go. Let me do all the work here. Don't help me. Just let it go. All you have to do is breathe. Pay attention to your breathing, sensations of your breath. Feel yourself sinking in. Oh wow. <laughs> that felt good. <laughs> wow. That cracked a lot. Be nice and gentle. We're going to move right here at C6, 7. Okay, sinking in with the head drop, shoulders dropping. Good. Let this all go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> all right, you still have this crazy trigger point up here just a little bit. I can feel it in your occiput, like when I was doing this. Yeah, that hurts. That sucks, right? Yeah, what is that? It's just tension in a tendon from the trap. It's actually from this the same thing down here that we were working on earlier. All right, so let's just like balance this for just a second. Take a deep breath into your nose. Uh -oh. Ow. That was nice. Good job. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Nice 
and gentle. There's good joint movement here, so I don't think that it's actually a joint restriction issue with the with the heels. You're probably just squeezing these muscles back here mm -hmm. and stretching these muscles for a long period of time. And that's that asymmetry where these are getting stretched and these are getting tighter just can create achiness here around the ankle. Let's see what it sounds sounds like when I pull. Gotta let this relax here a little bit. That big fat one, right? Yeah. Go ahead, try to let it go. Go let it go. There we go. This one's hard for me to crack. Yeah, it is more difficult on the right side. Yeah. This is the iliosecal valve. This is the window between the large and the small intestine. We find it by first finding the belly button, which is right there, and then the ASIS. This is right here. Connecting these two points together is where we find the ileocecal valve. There it is right there. Nice gentle belly breathing. And not bad. Okay, next is the pyloric sphincter. This is where the stomach empties into the duodenum. It's two inches above the belly button, located like that. Just ready to go. Got a little bit more here. Let's see if that one's over. Let's go. Okay, you're breathing. 
your shoulders and hips, let it all sink in. All you have to do is keep your teeth together. We'll follow this breath here as you breathe out. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Sinking in. Oh my God. Wow. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy that there's still stuff left to pop. I know, my body doesn't stop popping. My body doesn't stop popping. It's gonna be a title of this video. <laughs> How's it feel? Good. <laughs> Good. How's the neck feel? Move the neck around. Feels good. I'm not cracking. Good. Feels a lot looser, like I can move it more. Yeah. I don't know why it's not cracking. Right now. Push your elbow back right here. Harder. What? Ah. Kind of. Let's see here. Let this relax. There's one more over here. Let's do this left side again. Nope, bend your knees. 
Too flat. Yeah, you just did it. <laughs> okay, so this is how you fix the, the cracking too much, okay? okay? Right, so right from here, you're gonna do a pelvic tilt. So you're just gonna tilt your pelvis this way. No, 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 no. Oh. Okay, <laughs> leave, your, leave your feet flat and then just, this yes. Yeah, I mean, like that's a bridge, it's, it's almost there. It's actually this right here. You wanna go like this, like turn it. Yeah, yeah, but leave your back on the ground. There, feel that? <laughs> do it again. Down. Like doctor practice this every day? Yeah, 25. Twice a day would be the best. So, cat gal. So, let's do this. Flip over so you're on your uh, hands and knees. Have you ever done this before? Is it like the, is it this? Wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's say, yeah. That? Uh -huh. In yoga? Yeah, okay. but go the other way. Go the other way. Give me the cat. Right? So, you're gonna cat it like that. Like, super cat. You want to do like three cat per one cow and maybe not even go into a full cow, like come down to neutral. Yeah, don't even, just stay right there. Now go back up into cat. Perfect. Do 25 of these. And you really want to focus on like really tipping your tailbone down this way. All right, all right, lay on your back again. So for the next one, this is for that, this right here, okay? okay. So there's three things that you're gonna do. The first thing that you're gonna do is push your head straight down into the table. But don't tilt your chin up. Push your head down and then I'll squeeze your shoulder blades back together. Like hey, that? but leave your arms down. Yeah, and hold it. And now when your shoulders are squeezed, push your head down again. Yeah, and now hold them really tight, really tight. Let it go slowly. Oh. Yeah, like super slow. So first you push your head down, that causes your chest to lift up, squeeze your shoulder blades as hard as you can, and then when you squeeze your shoulder blades, your body's going to forget about your neck for a second, and so you have to go back to it and push your head back in, so mm -hmm. re-engage your head, shoulders, hold it hard, and then let it go slowly. Okay. If you do 25 of those and 25 of the other thing, then you'll feel great every day, all day. All day. Okay, any questions? Nope. Let this all go. We're sinking in here. Stop popping, it's gonna be a title of this video. <laughs>